Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo in the second of two videos that we're doing on this uh, lower right teeth numbers 29 and 30. I'm going to go ahead and now I've placed the liner and the compositite set up so now we're going to go ahead and etch our tooth. I'm going to etch the enamel first all the way around and then I'll come right on in and etch the dentin. I'm going to give it about 15 seconds on that. Many times you can see carbon dioxide being given off now. Someone also asked me to... We could ask. Uh, my still assistant wants me to go ahead and etch. I'm going to rinse this first and then we'll etch 29. And I'm just rubbing the enamel here and agitating it a little bit. All right, we'll go ahead and rinse that off thoroughly. All righty. That's called the double hose technique. <laughs> All right, and we'll etch that uh, adjacent tooth. Now that we have everything isolated, there's no contamination whatsoever. Just go ahead and get that etched. And my mind's running away a little bit here, so I'm just re-etching this buckle groove just to make sure I have it etched. We are isolated with the rubber dam, and uh, our methods are very conservative. You're now seeing the molar all cleaned out, the bicuspids all cleaned out thoroughly, and we're staying with keeping her enamel as much as we can being conservative. Okay. Alright, now we can go ahead and apply tubulacid. acid. Alright. Again, that's our chelation technique. 15 seconds on with that, then we'll suction that off and go right into adding our adhesive. We're using the All Bond 3 technology now from Visco. Applying that first layer. And basically just dancing this material in there, getting it all into the little fissures and potholes and grooves. You gotta have fun with dentistry, you know? You gotta be creative, you gotta watch your time too. You can't be t too long on procedures, but you gotta be thorough. And I think the microscope gives you all that. Uh, we're videoing today, so we're running a little bit behind. I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up. We do have the filling portion on other videos. Uh, I'll just take you through the first steps of this one. We're going to go ahead and light cure that now. I'll show you the first part of this and then we'll, uh, we'll wish you a good day out there. Uh, Check out the website at www.gcuomodds.com for all information about procedures, technologies, and now education. We're going to be adding the Florida Atlantic University mentorship program to that, and that'll show you what we're teaching our pre-dental students prior to going to dental school. They're learning how to perform all the steps in hands-on and dentistry um, so that they're well prepared to go into dental school. We're going to go ahead and add our uh, our base layer now, uh, which is flowable, posterior flowable. We'll go ahead and put that in place. I'm just going to build up this mesial box first. Get that in there. All right. And we'll wipe away a little bit of the excess, and we'll put in our first. 
I'm going to need that back. I want to add just a little bit more. And we'll put our first layer in there. Composite. There it goes. And I'll use an explorer. I'm just going to spread that a little bit down into that area. Make it go mesially and distally. I don't want to skimp here. I'm just going to go in and make sure that's spread nicely in there. It just It's like a wetting agent. That's all it is. Flowable. So you don't pack air in there. Come up right against the band and push down a little bit. Right up against the band. And you're pushing mesially, distally, uh, excuse me, more mesially, and then buckle lingually. This is a Hollenbeck instrument. Okay, I'm just making sure I'll bring it in another piece. And now we can condense that down in there with a condenser. A lot of these instruments we modify, we make them a lot smaller because they don't fit. We gotta make them smaller. We're being more conservative. And then um, we're building up, we're trying to build up the mesial marginal ridge here, so we're going to do that. And I think what I'll do is take an explorer right now. Okay, explorer. Take away some of the excess that out of there. That looks good. And get rid of that. All right, we'll go ahead and cure that. That's our first cure. As I'm curing this, I uh, wish you all a very happy day out there, and good luck with your cases and your conservative dentistry. If you need to know information about any of these techniques or microscope enhanced dentistry along with minimally invasive dentistry and these techniques, feel free to, uh, to comment and uh, keep practicing your techniques. Take care.